This is not a track for thrill seekers and adventure travelers. Even these are good driving conditions without mud, snow or landslides. The narrow mountain road where just one car can pass at a time is the only way to the hospital. Loaded on vehicles capable for the journey, most of those needing medical help don't have the luxury of ambulances in rural Afghanistan. Since the Taliban takeover of 2021, there's been a sharp drop in donor funds which held together a broken public health system. The lack of international support also resulted in shutting down basic health units and many clinics. Now the 150-bed central hospital not only serves half a million people from Kunar's 14 districts, but also patients from Nuristan province. That's where Rahmanullah travelled from because he cannot afford to go to a private hospital. His son suffers from pneumonia, easily treatable under the right circumstances, but it can turn fatal without proper care. We have doctors, but not many, and we don't have medicine. And the doctors don't know how to treat patients with pneumonia. There is no big hospital like this. The current government, which calls itself the Islamic Emirate, placed multiple bans on women and have also scared away many healthcare professionals. Although women are now allowed in the health sector, there is still a shortage of doctors and nurses. The patients arrived here in a critical stage and some are dead on arrival. We referred most of the critical patients to Jalalabad. If we had a standard ICU for critical patients, we would not need to send them away. An unforgiving terrain and unpaved roads like this mean people have to travel hours to get medical help. It's not just Kunar province. In other places where occupation forces spent more than $300 million a day every day for 20 years, paints a dire picture. Most Afghans believe corruption in previous years robbed them of basic services and facilities. Projects such as this hospital either remained incomplete or only existed on paper. Our basic problem is our 200-bed hospital's unfinished building. We have been reassured that the construction of this building will restart soon. And patients in Kunar have basic demands. We want this road to be built, an ambulance for the clinic and more doctors and specialists. Until that happens, they must take unaffordable, perilous journeys just to see a doctor. Osama bin Javed Al Jazeera, Asadabad, Northeastern Afghanistan. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.